All right, all right. LDBC, this is your boy Coach Sheldon Harrison. You're live, live, live on the Coach Sheldon Harrison Combat Sports Show Live. Okay, guys. Well, I've been telling y'all all week that this is Barb Honchak's fight to, to lose. I said it was Barb's fight to lose. I said that, you know, she's got the skill advantage over Roxanne Modafferi. She got the skill advantage. Roxanne Modafferi, she's very immobile, okay, because of the knees, okay? She's had issues with her knees. Roxanne is very immobile. You know, she don't have a lot of mobility whatsoever, okay? Roxanne fights in a style that's just painful to watch, you know? It, it, you know, when she's standing. Now, when Roxanne is on the ground, it's a thing of beauty. But watching Roxanne Modafferi stand, it's painful. Like, I, I got to be honest, y'all. I'm not picking on her. It's just painful. And, you know, Roxanne, you know, I, I don't know. She's moving like she got this stiff... Like, you know, Roxanne almost remind me of somebody who constipated. You know, she walking around and... I gotta take a dump. I gotta take a dump. You know, like, what the hell is she doing? You know, but Barb Honchak was dictating the pace of the fight early on. She was catching and shooting. And catching and shooting, that's an old boxing term. You know, when you see a person's incoming strike, you catch it, you catch it on your arm or your elbow, and then you follow back up with a counter. You follow back up with your own counter strike. That's called a catch and shoot. Barb Honchak was doing a good job. She even got on the inside of Roxanne Modafferi, and she was making it happen, you know. Uh, most around one Barb was catching and shooting, okay? Roxanne wasn't doing anything really difficult. Roxanne wasn't trying to kick. Roxanne was just, she had these weird, crazy ass looking movements that you just kind of, you just, you just kind of have to watch and you have your mouth open and you start thinking to yourself, what the hell is she doing? But, you know, it, it, it is what it is. Barb Honchak was doing it and then all of a sudden, next thing you know, Roxanne Modafferi out of nowhere just got a takedown. It was for about the last part of the round, so I still kind of gave it to Barb Honchak, okay? I gave it to Barb the first round. Round two, Barb Honchak started out, man. She started out good. Catching and shooting. Uh, you know, definitely keeping Roxanne Modafferi off balance. I mean, well, Roxanne fights off balance. You ever heard of that kung fu, that drunken form kung fu style? Yeah, yeah I mean, I know some of y'all don't heard of drunken form. That's what I look at when I think of Roxanne Modafferi, the drunken form to, uh, kung fu. But, you know... She was keeping Ron Montefiore off balance. And Roxanne, you can tell that she was just kind of, you know, trying to find a way to get in on the inside to get this fight to the ground. She kept doing it and doing it. And Barb wasn't given an opportunity. And then Barb Honchak just did something dumb. She tried to take Roxanne down. And, it, you know, in my in my, my pre-fight keys to victory, I'm like, yo, don't go to the ground with Roxanne Montefiore. Now, when Montefiore looks ugly when she's standing, Roxanne is a thing of beauty on the ground. I got to tell y'all. Mata Ferry is a thing of beauty when she on that ground. And I'm going to tell you, boy, she do a damn good job on that ground. Barb Hunchak was dumb to try to take her down because as they were falling, Roxanne just, she turned her hip. She rotated her hip, and she got top position on Bob Hunchak. And Bob Hunchak spent the rest of the round trying to get up, you know. But it wasn't enough. It wasn't enough, man. But Roxanne Mata Ferry got Barb, Barb in an awkward position. She started hitting Barb upside the damn head with elbows and fists and hammer fist and elbows and hammer fist and elbows and hammer fist. I mean, she was raining down an ass whooping on Barb Honchak. I'm to my raining down shots left and right. Barb Honchak was trying to defend. I thought this referee, you know, what is it with these referees? This referee stopped the fight too soon. Barb wasn't in no real danger. She wasn't hurt. She wasn't injured. She was trying to block the elbows. Give the damn lady a chance. I'm going to stop the fight. I'm going to stop. What? And so Barb had to move her hand and get hit in the head with elbows. I mean, you know, it's like, okay, when they're getting hit, you got to give them a little bit of time to work out of the position, man. And I thought the fight was stopped too soon. Me, I thought the fight stopped too soon. But, you know, nonetheless, congratulations. Roxanne Modafferi got the stoppage on Barb Honchak. And, yo, you know, I kind of I put it out there. I said this was Barb's fight to lose. And she lost it. This is your boy, Coach Sheldon Harrison. I'm done. What are you waiting on? Subscribe to the best women's MMA platform on YouTube.